There she is, so pretty. These are really, really good. Don't worry, your express train keeps on moving for the future. I'm so excited to be here. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and welcome to my tower. Today we are having a very magical day at Magic Kingdom. So we just got here, it is currently 9.04. We tried to get here for early entry, but literally the bus stop was the only bus stop that everybody was going to today. So I have a feeling it's gonna be a very busy day just because it is the only non-party day this week. So yeah, I feel like we're gonna have quite a bit of crowds to deal with, but that's okay, we do have Lightning Lane. And we just got our lockers. So I just went into the Emporium and yeah, I just figured I'd open the vlog. Let's do a little first look at the castle. There she is, so pretty. I just love looking at her. But yeah, let's go to Starbucks, get some coffee, get some breakfast. And we do have a 9.05 return time for Haunted Mansion, so we can get over there as soon as we can. But I'm so excited to be here. All right, so we are in Liberty Square now, and I have to drink my coffee before we can get on and hit on Haunted Mansion. Definitely wanna try to finish this quickly so I can get over there so that way I can scan us in for our next virtual queue. So I got the apple crisp oat milk shake and espresso, but I get this with almond milk and it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee and then we will get on Haunted Mansion. And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> and no lights. of the greatest ghost writers the literary world has ever known. They have all retired. He's brand new. He was a very expensive animatronic. Yeah. His face goes from his face into that box. <laughs> Rat on a table. It's time to respond. Send us a message from somewhere beyond. The Haunted Mansion was great as always up until the very end. There was some girls screaming, which was annoying. But anyway, now we are heading over to our Pirates return time. I think it's 10, 20, 10, 30, something like that. It is 10, 14. I know regardless, we are going to be a little bit early. So I'll see if they'll let me scan in early. Hopefully they will. And then I think I'm going to try to get Big Thunder while we're over here. And then after that, it'll be like relatively close to our lunchtime. It's really loud over here and I don't want to get sprayed by the camel, but let's go ride pirates. So we stopped off at the Friars Nook to get some breakfast to kill some time because our pirates return time isn't until 1040. So I got the mac and cheese hand pie, which I've been wanting to try anyway. And they put a little hidden Mickey on top. I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys without like tipping it over. I feel like you can kind of see, but I did take some pictures. So. You guys already know, I love my mac and cheese, so let's go ahead and try this. I want to eat this with my hands, but I feel like I will make a mess because it's covered in cheese. I think the outside of this is like a little too crunchy for me. Mac and cheese is fine, it tastes like normal, like craft mac and cheese or something. 
I don't think I'd get this again, just because, like I said, the outside's a little too crunchy. Maybe like a seven, seven and a half. Yeah. All done with Pirates, and it is now 11.08, so we have until 12.30 for our lunch reservation, but I am doing a specific outfit just for our lunch, so I'm gonna go back and get changed around like 12 to get some pictures, but I just checked the wait times for Carousel Progress, and people move around there both five minutes. So since we have a little bit of time, we'll go ahead and do both of those. There's really nothing like today in tomorrow. Tomorrowland Urban Planning and Star Trek. Transfer to green and red mark. Don't worry, your express train keeps on rolling for the future. Right by two of my favorite spots. First up, Progress City. To all Disney's amazing dreams for a community of tomorrow. Did you know Progress City inspired Epcot and a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World? Look, there's even a tiny people mover. I wonder if that means there's a tiny Borak. First up, progress on your right is Star Traders, home to the greatest goods in the galaxy. Except actually stars. Those are no longer sold. Now approaching Tomorrowland Speedway and Tron Light Cycle Run. I love a good circuit. And these are two of the best tracks of the cosmos for a bit of light, speedy competition. This is Starport 75, or as we locals call it, Space Mountain. Let relaxation wash over you at the most refreshing retreat in the galaxy, the core of of Pisces 7. You H2 owe it to yourself for today. is the Astro Orbiter, our celestial symbol of interplanetary harmony and fellowship. Hop aboard and launch high above Tomorrowland for a spin amongst the planets. Okay, so I'm not sure what the last thing I showed you guys was. I think the last thing we did was ride the people mover. Yeah, because then we came to the locker and I got changed. So here's my new outfit. I know I didn't really show you my first one, but I'm just wearing my red ears from the parks. Uh, hold on, let me figure out this gimbal situation. There we go. I have this Tony shirt that I got off of Depop, and this bag is from Amazon. The bow is also from Amazon, and then the, you know, viral picnic kind of shorts are from Amazon as well. My shoes, Hoka, socks also from Amazon. It is now 12.25. We have lunch reservations at Tony's for 12.30. It is really, really hot. I think it's like 85 right now, but with this humidity, like, it's worse than yesterday, so. I'm hoping that we can take maybe like a two hour break or so in here. I hope they take a long time to like serve us and stuff like that so we can really like take our time, but let's go try Tony's. It's very loud in here, so I'm gonna try to be quick, but we just got sat and it is now 12.53, so it's a little bit of a wait, but here's just a quick look at their menu. I'm still not really sure what I want. I feel like I'll probably go for the Alfredo just because I don't like red sauce and I it just like doesn't agree with me because I have has of reflux. So I think we're definitely gonna get the garlic bread and yeah, I think I'm leaning towards the fettuccine Alfredo, but I will let you guys know how it is when our food comes out. 
All right, so our garlic bread just got here, and it looks really, really good. I'll show you guys quickly, but this is kind of the plate that it came on. It's a lot of bread, and it came with like a garlic sauce too, so I guess let's just try the bread by itself first. My bread's gonna be kicking. The sauce that I came with, I don't know what that is. These are really, really good. I think I'll rate the garlic bread itself. 9 out of 10. So here's my fettuccine alfredo. I got it with chicken and this was $27. I don't know if you can tell like the portion size. Here is it with my hand. It's a, uh, I don't know, it's definitely gonna be filling for me and I didn't want too too much because I don't obviously want to take this home because I have nowhere to put it. And here's a closer look at our garlic bread and the sauce that it came with. And then here's bread, spaghetti and pasta. Uh, that's not it. Spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> I think the meatballs look like good. Do they taste good? Yeah. The pasta looks good too. Yeah, Brad said it's pretty good. down the bayou and I will give you my thoughts when we get out of here but I wanted to show you around the gift shop really quick. So there's a bunch of like little critters, there's a cup that's really cute. Tiana's got some chocolate and I actually really like this shirt. Kind of thinking about it. I don't know if I'll do it. Sorry I'm sniffling because I cried on the ride. <laughs> this I think is so cute. I gotta see the back but I might want this. Let me see. Oh wait. That's so cute. 
Oh. Okay. Let me see how much this is. And it's fleece too, so I won't be able to wear this for a while, so I might actually pass. Just because it's so hot, I can't even think about anything else. But it is $60. It's not terrible, but it's so cute. And they also have these light up ears. These are cute. And then they also have these really cute towels for $35. They have some little like waterproof pouches, I think these are. What is this? Tech case, yeah, so that's like for your phone, but that's more helpful before the ride. They have these really cute photo frames. Some Mardi Gras popcorn. And then some candy. There's really not too, too much in here. It's a little bit loud right now, but here's a little initial thought. So I was really trying to focus on obviously filming both for YouTube, Instagram, like for reels and stuff, and then also trying to get pictures and also just trying to experience it. So I feel like if I had no technology, I would have felt a lot more into it, but I still really, really loved it. I'm gonna rate it a 10 out of 10. I wish it was a little bit longer, actually. I don't know why it felt shorter than Splash Mountain to me, but I just love Ray. I love Mama Ovi, Louis, Tiana, Naveen, Charlotte. I was really, really like, that's when I lost it, was in that room with like the whole celebration with Lottie and like Tiana looks so gorgeous. like. Could not keep in the tears. The people don't know exactly what a president will be, but there is little doubt who it will be. George Washington's stature and bearing have marked him as a leader. We did Hall of Presidents, that was my first time doing that. I actually really liked that, seeing all the presidents, you know, standing all together and like their names being announced was really cool. But yeah, I really liked that. That was probably like 20 minutes or so. And then after that, we went over to Peter Pan. I met up with my friend Liv, who works there. So shout out to Liv if you're watching this. And now we are having dinner at Pinocchio Village House. I just got a chicken Caesar salad. Let's see if I can show you guys. It's just a very basic chicken Caesar salad. I just really feel like I needed some sustenance and I got some sweet tea too. And it is six o'clock and our next thing on the to-do list is Little Mermaid at 6.30. So just sit here, enjoy our dinner and then go ride Little Mermaid. Great story about how Ariel became a human, but that Ursula, ooh, she's so mean. I'll make you you, and if you give me your voice, she says. Up on the shore, they work all day. Out in the sun, they slave away. Who will we be voting for that fruity under the sea? We should be landing happy, but the circle's been dead open. One day when the boss get hungry, guess you go to the empty grave. Oh, she's a pretzel now. I mean, 
So we just got off Little Mermaid, one of my favorite rides here. Just such a classic and I have to do it every single time. And I just love like jamming out with all the fish and stuff. But um, we are heading into Tomorrowland now because we're gonna try to get on Carousel Progress. It's looking like it's gonna storm and we don't have buzz till 7.35. Yeah, game plan for the rest of the night is gonna be to do a buzz. I'm probably not gonna be a galactic hero because I honestly just like suck at that ride and I don't really know how to work it. But yeah, let's hope we can get there before this storm starts and then hopefully they'll still be doing Happily Ever After. I kind of have to keep an eye on the radar because if it's gonna storm, I guess we'll just dip out. But yeah, let's go to Carousel Progress. Electric lights? No more kerosene. No more gas. <laughs> Sarah sure gets the core of the apple. But we do have this new wash day marvel. Now it takes me only five hours to do the wash. Imagine, it used to take two days. Sarah's interrupting. And guess who volunteered to choose the music for the program? I did, Pop. Listen to this. Oh, that's a nice tune, Jimmy. You know, with our new Crosley radio set, we can get news and big time entertainment from all over the country, even Pittsburgh. Look who's starting to arrive downtown for a spectacular 4th of July parade in fireworks of Give me left, give me love. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, a new age of electronic civilization is upon us. Hey, Dad, what do you think of my jack o lantern Oh, oh, boy, that's scary. That's because I'm using my beautiful sister Patty's picture for a model. Your turn, Grandma. Let's switch the image over to the TV so the resident flying ace can show you how it works. Now, it's a little tricky. Just use your game glove to fly behind the other guy and blast him with your laser blaster. Laser blaster? Well, I'll give it a try. Take a look around, Grandma. You're in the ship. Feels like I'm really there. Okay, get ready. You're about to blast off. We're jumping into the future a little bit because I did still vlog a little bit more in the park, but I didn't want to end the video just yet because I obviously have to open my mystery pin with you guys. So this is the Series 16. I just picked this up in the park and these are little suitcases. So the options are Bill, Simba, Dumbo, Oogie, Peter, and Pooh. And obviously I think I'm really hoping for Belle. I'd also be happy with Pooh, I think is my second choice. Then probably Simba, Dumbo, Peter, Oogie. So let's go ahead and see. Please be Belle. I feel like it'd be so cute. You guys can see first. Oh, okay, it's Dumbo. I don't think I love it, but I don't hate it. But I'll probably use this as a trading pin. So let's go ahead and jump back to Park Taylor. It is now 8.06 and Happily Ever After is still scheduled for 8.30, but I just don't think that we're gonna stay. No, I know we're not gonna stay. We are leaving because there are storms coming through and they're supposed to hit, of course, right around 8.30. And the reel that I wanted to get for watching the fireworks, I need this camera and this camera is not waterproof. I'm really sad because I was really looking forward to watching the fireworks from the Tangled area and just like getting a really cute reel of just me and Brad standing there watching it. And like, I don't know, I just had like a really good idea in my head, but it's okay. We've had a very long day. We've been troopers and we have like actually more of a chill day tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. But we will be doing more of like a chill morning at the resort and swimming. And then we'll do Hollywood Studios in the afternoon. So I think that's gonna work out really great for us. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up, tap the bell icon and subscribe. And I will see you guys next week for Hollywood Studios. Bye.